Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen, getting ready to cook a nice little quick easy meal. Today we will have fried pork chops and macaroni and cheese. Something nice, quick, simple and easy. Let me show y'all. Y'all already know we've got those pork chops and today I'm going with the really thick pork chops. You guys can see how thick they are. Oh yes, I went with the really thick pork chops. Oh look at all that goodness. Yes, and y'all know they've been marinating overnight. All night. Yes. Got our pork chops over here. Uh, got our noodles for our mac and cheese. Um, I like using the Mueller noodles. I also like the Publix noodles, but I usually go with what's on sale. But anyway, and I'm going to be using the Publix shredded mild cheddar cheese, their big giant bag of cheese. This is a 32 ounce fried pork chops, mac and cheese. Quick and easy. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay guys, I've shown you on my channel a million times my quick macaroni and cheese. So I'm just going to go ahead and just show you guys how I quickly make my quick mac and cheese. Um, and of course you guys can go back to my other videos to see the more in-depth ones. But this is just my little quick throw together mac and cheese. Alright, so we've got my pasta. Got my pasta. Let's see. Uh oh, butter. Alright. Just going to throw some butter in here. Not too much butter. I don't like a lot of butter. Just enough. I think that's like what? Um, I don't know. Um, half a cup of butter. Or uh, half a stick of butter. However you want to do it. <laughs> Alright. So, alright. So I got my butter. And I like putting everything in while the noodles are hot. So, you know, the noodles going to go ahead and melt my butter. So I like to do that first. Like I said, this is my quick, quick, real easy mac and cheese. And it tastes like you've been in the kitchen all day trying to make it. But you made it in like five minutes. Alright, so getting this butter melted. Quick, quick, quick. And you guys saw I just used that one box of pasta. That one box is pretty good. It goes a long way. It makes a whole big pan of mac and cheese. You guys will see. Alright, so we got that butter melted. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's pour our milk in. I'm going to do about a cup of milk. Maybe that was half a cup. Let me see. Yeah, yeah that was about a cup of milk. Okay, so get my eggs in. Two eggs. Alright, get those in. And I like putting my eggs near that milk because you don't want to put the eggs near the hot noodles because you know what that's going to get you. That's going to get you scrambled eggs, macaroni and cheese. Nasty. So I like putting it in that milk because remember your milk's already cold. So it helps us, keeps us from getting scrambled eggs. Now some people put eggs in their mac and cheese, some don't. But hey, the way I was raised, you put eggs in your macaroni and cheese. Eggs help everything stick together. All right. Okay, that's quick and easy, yada, yada, yada. All right, let me see here. All right, so let me sprinkle my salt in. Hmm, I'd say like uh, maybe about two teaspoons of salt, not that much. Y'all know salt goes a long way. All right, so we got our butter in. Let's go ahead and dump our cheese in. I'm just gonna do half of the bag for now. Because y'all know we got this whole big old 32 ounce. But y'all know my mac and cheese be cheesy. It ain't mac and cheese if you ain't got cheese in it. Just pasta. Alright. Just going to mix that in real quick. Like I said. Quick and easy mac and cheese. Quick and easy. And of course the uh, cheese soaks up all that milk. So you ain't got to worry about it being all milky. Because that's not what's going to happen. Okay. Get that all stirred up nice. Quick and easy. Get the cheese stirred in there. Now you can do your mac and cheese all kind of way. You use all kind of cheese. Three cheeses, three different kind of cheeses. But today we're just doing the mild cheddar cheese. Like I said, this is my quick and easy mac and cheese. And of course you can season it how you want to season it. I just add a little salt. Sometimes I'll add a little pepper. Okay, that's looking good. Looking good. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more cheese. 
And then of course I'm gonna save some of my cheese for the top of my mac and cheese. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna save about that much of the bag. I'm gonna save about that much for the top. So. Quick and easy. That's it, y'all. And I'm just gonna pan it up. I bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. So everything gets all melted and cheesy. Um, I'm gonna put, put it in my pan, put the cheese across the top. Y'all know how it go. 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. All right, guys, let's move on. Okay, guys, looks like I've got my oil all nice and hot, ready for the pork chops. And let me show y'all the pork chops. Of course, I added a little season to my flour. Got my nice thick pork chops. The pork chops are so big I had to use a bowl, but these are real pork chops are here, y'all. Nice and thick pork chops. Got my oil nice and hot. Now, with the thicker pork chops, I don't have my uh, oil heat up that high. I have it at like a medium high. Because with the thick pork chops, you gotta take your time to cook these. Look at that. Look at that goodness. Go ahead and get it in there. And these are so big, I'm only gonna be able to do two right now. So I'll be able to cook two at a time. Wash my hands. All right, and we're gonna let them, let them fry up. Ain't that oil look hot, y'all? It's hot anyway, you are. It's in there. And I'll be back to show y'all the pork chops when they're done. Okay, guys, I'm back. And yeah, I fried the pork chop up and I forgot to grab the camera. But anyway, <laughs> at least I'm showing y'all how the pork chop turned out. They are thick and they look amazing. Ooh, look at them pork chops. Those some thick pork chops. Y'all know I'm doing nothing skinny over here. Thick pork chops. Oh yeah, they looking real good. Take y'all over to that mac and cheese. Y'all don't see my macaroni and cheese. We love mac and cheese. I'm always cooking it. At least every other week I'm cooking this macaroni and cheese. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all see it. All right. You see me do it so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. That's Instagram, YouTube, of course, and Facebook at Arika Misha.